Hello and welcome back. More action from Madrid. Third round matchup, men's division. Uprising from Poland versus Is No Good from France. Another Ulti TV broadcast. I'm Stefan Rapazzo, joined with the wonderful Kathy Meisel. Kathy, how are you today? I'm very good. Just played. Ha now ready to commentate. Uh, excellent. We'll put you from one seat to the other. Just quickly, how'd the game go over there? Uh, well, we traded points for the first half, and then in the end, we managed to still win. But it was very close. Very, uh, very nice. Okay. Well, we'll talk a bit more about that. But on to the game in front of us. What do you know about Uprising? Uh, who, who are these guys? Where do they come from? I don't know too much yet. Okay. But I do know that I saw them once at EUCR East. And I was impressed because they had like quarterback bracelets with tactics in them. So let's okay. see what they bring on the field. Quarterback bracelets with tactics. That's exciting. That's uh, that sounds organized. So let's see how we go here. Uh, as uprising uh, take offense for the very first point, they're gonna put it into play. The is no good, pull goes out of bounds, and is no good are gonna know that I'm watching this. I am the coach normally of is no good. I'm taking a weekend off, but I'm still here to advise them, but th they know I don't like it when those pulls don't stay in And bounds. you do have your notebook with you to take notes of these things, right? Of course, of course. Identify and then we do something to, uh, to fix it and make sure it doesn't happen. Break throw, nice break for the opening throw all the way around, up the line right in front of our cameras, number 30. And there's uh, the first D. Nice D, Sebastian Page. Felix goes straight to him. And <laughs> he looked like he waited, but did just enough to keep it in front of the defender. And right back to Prior Martin. Felix put the lofty throw up and got it back for the goal. So, Noisy Le Sec is a new home for you, Kathy Meisel. Uh, this is your brother team, but you're really just getting used to your own, your own team over there, Jakob. What do you know about Noisy Le Sec or, or Isno? Well, I know that they have a very busily running program and building the team with you. So, uh, and I know that this year they want to, um, well, focus their roster for, for Worlds next year. So they are... Yeah, they're in a in a build up and also a downsizing phase for next year for the for the big tournament. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, we are gearing up. We had a mega tournament at EUCF. We had uh, 29 players, uh, so this is a very different look than than the is no team we had there. Uh, we're down to 16 here after we lost Pierre-Louis Cambrai and the pull goes up and here come Uprising, second chance at it. Isno, of course, uh, would love to get themselves a second break out the gates here, but Uprising. Making completions, that one goes straight out of bounds past Mikoilek uh, and these Polish names are gonna come out like a mound of bricks from my mouth, but it's gonna happen. The other way, Jacob Reigns. The American pickup throws off the hands of Marconi. It floats and uprising with a second chance to hold and a hard mark there. Prosser gets bounced, then dumps it. 48 centers, that's Lepak. And that L is kind of a way back, uh, is what I'm told. These Polish surnames shot. Not for goal in front, far corner. Pusu gets knocked to his backside, trying to hold his balance. Shot for goal and casual, a little bit too casual yeah. there. Kathy Meisel, they had a chance to hold and uh, he went at it with one hand, just a little bit. La di da. Yeah, but the offense looked much more, much more safe than before, so. Let's see if they can take it back once again from Isno. Uh, I, as Jacob Reigns winds up the huck there, Marconi gets it back, this time safe hands is the Dutchman, Johan van der Wood comes under and gets one to Elipusu. From Toulouse goes up line, Kevin U. 
sideline. He, I know he's looking to recenter. He gets the big man, Fred Bredard, around to Marconi. It's actually Marconi, but so uh, frequently referred to as Marconi. He gets it again. Marconi to Jacob Reigns for the goal. Two points, two breaks. Is no looking good out the gates against the uprising. So, two nothing. Nice little uh, start out the gates for is no good, and uh, we've got a timeout. Looks like by uprising early. They want to talk about things. What do, what do they got to do? What's uh, what, what can we identify in their first couple of points? Like uh, you talked about it a little bit right after their last O possession, but well, their last possession looked nice, I think, in offense, and it was just the last pass that was scrambled a bit in the into the end zone. So maybe. One more breath before the last pass. It's One a classic. Breath. It is a classic. But it is, I mean, those kind of uh, repeated uh, bits of advice, It is. It, uh, nobody's ever saying something that you've never heard. If, if, you're, if you get into a deep tournament, an elite tournament, the advice is just uh, you pick something you heard once that worked and it was the right advice and it's the refocus. And it's always that. It's the mental game. Like, the, they, they got to... They gotta walk it in one more throw at a time. They get ru they get rushed one. They're a bit casual for one. Put those away, and and it, this is a you know a, a tie game. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, let's see let's see what they can do. Of course, I told you before I'm uh, I'm coaching is no good. The team is under a a change from the this mega lineup we had at uh, EUCF. We're going to reduce that lineup. Uh, we got a couple players coming into the squad. Uh, Jake Brains is one of them. Pilou Pierre Louis Combré is another one of them. Uh, and then there's a few maybes we're going to see. We're, we're running a selection still uh, in December. Hopefully January we have our team set. We may still evaluate a player or two. But uh, I think after last year was their first year with a new coach and a new kind of system. They, they got used to me. I got used to them. I think uh, they're playing uh, the, the, the parts of the, the game that I implemented a little bit more fluidly now. And uh, I think this second year, we, we've got a chance to make a, a, a bound and improvement. All I'm right. excited about that. And we see the next pull. Going right into the end zone. Happy with that pull. The pulls, they go deep. 91's got a little bit of room, but Becker goes up and over and uh, avoids contact just enough. There was a little bit of contact there, but uh, avoids it enough and makes the play over top of 91. Rico Becker sees Seb, Sebastian Page, he floats one up, well weighted, and Rico Ber Becker goes from the commentary seat to the hucking spot, uh, seamlessly did a great job this morning commentating, and now he's uh, throwing bombs on the, other s on the other side, so he's doing reverse order of you today, Meisel. Yeah, he can do it all, and it was very nice capitalizing on the error that they, or the defense that he just made, actually. Yeah, double happiness for Rico. He goes, uh, gets the D, chucks the huck, uh, and he's all smiles about it. Uh, Rico, of course, still hanging in uh, as a hot candidate in the world uh World Games qualification uh, or selection for France. Okay, how many of the Isno players are currently still oh. in the selection? Do you know? There's one Isno Ew. player currently in the selection. A team that was second at nationals, lost by two points uh, in a game that we had or, or we, we were swinging with, a team that we touched. But the other team that was in that final, I think, had seven in the, <laughs> the selection. So oh, wow. Some interesting uh, selections uh, to be noted. A uh, couple of my guys left off the team in the first round even that I was shocked about. But uh, I wasn't there at the selection, so you never know what's happening. Never know. But you n we know that this was a very good pull. That yes, indeed. Uh, a strong pulling performance out of the guys after the first point. We've got a deep, and they're in a zone. 
as Uprising move it around. Karim Flip trying to find holes in this zone. They are there are some available. The big the big comes off. He's got space behind and just enough space behind Fred Bredard for the goal for Uprising. They're on the board, Kathy. Yeah, that was a very good job by Uprising on on getting out of the corner there after that great pull that Isnu Good had. So very well done from from Uprising. The zone looked good on the front side of the of the zone, but the two deeps uh, both got uh, got beat. He found the space behind the short deep and opposite side of the deep deep. And uh, you see the two deeps talking on the field now how to how to do that job better next time. Here we go. Getting that scoreboard uh, proper. 3-1 is no good as they come out in a side stack. Jacob Reigns playing with Felix Prior, Prior Martin in the backfield. Reigns back to Prior Martin. And Quavu Nguyen gets it up to Levesque. Dump back Nguyen Nguyen as they say that Vietnamese name in French. Jacob Reigns, nice looking around throw. Nguyen to Becker. Becker goes all the way around. Blady throw to Reigns. Reigns, Becker. And uh, Uprising have gone a zone of their own. Ogibier goes into traffic. There is contact. What do you think? Hard to say. Maybe we also can get a replay, but let's see what they what they will come up with. They replay would be fabulous. Uh, it was a throw in the traffic. Uh, it's tough to call a foul when the throw is in such a tight space. Uh, but without a replay, we're uh, not able to go. And here is the replay. That is Na that is the replay of the deep. But that is also a nice replay. Yes. That's the deep we saw before. Hey, that's the wrong replay. So it looks like the call has gone back. Uh, I, I guess a foul contest. Uh, gone back to the thrower. Gignac, as he's called. Vincent Gibier with the disc. Nguyen to Levesque. Levesque, Becker, and they're chiseling their way little bits at a time through this zone. Page goes lefty back to Reigns. Reigns fakes a couple times and then takes the wide open dump. Becker back to Reigns. They like to keep it on the high side of the field right now. And there they've got the big space. Now Gibier all alone in all sorts of space. Dumps to Becker and still has the super open <laughs> super <laughs> open dump that he almost uh, overthrew. Becker, uh, Prior Martin, they've really, everybody's got a touch on this point, and they finish it with Page de Nguyen, a great looking zono for is no good. Yeah. Uprising managed to, to keep them in one line or also yeah, hinder them from making any space for a few passes, but then they, they managed to, to push through. They found the space for one, and they went back and forth, back sideline to sideline quite quickly. Uh, I'd like to see that, that was, uh, that was very nice. So the, they didn't waste too much time looking what was going on, waiting to see what was going on. They, they saw something open and they took it and uh, 
and made Uprising uh, really work, run around for that zone. I'd be surprised if they play too much of that, to be very honest. I think uh, I would be surprised if they gave Isno that easy of an opportunity after that one. So here comes the pull, all eyes on Johan van der Wood, the Dutch pickup. Not even Amsterdam, he lives up in the north. Van der Woud, I'm getting Dutch uh, pronunciation tips from our Dutch cameraman. And another very solid pull there. Solid pull, lands in, slides ah. out, front of the end zone, that'll be. Not as solid as the previous one, still solid. It's there. <laughs> Consistency, if they're solid and consistent, that's good. And then one or two exceptional ones along the way, then you get a winner. On their own end zone, uprising, and uh, hack, foul, no contest. Francois Zubir with his custom-made 31 uh, hat only for him on the team. Not but I bad. think they're test models, maybe, for the WCC campaign. Centering pass to the under. 81 now. Gets it back. Big around. The Polish kits not exactly matched up. And that's a throwaway. Heavy pressure by Bredard. And Van de Waard to Bredard. Quick and easy, that makes it 4-1, and Isno are rolling and looking good. So we've got a bunch of tough names here, the Polish, uh, the Polish names, and I'm just uh, going to give a public uh, shaming to them. You guys submitted your rosters. Maybe there was an error, but your numbers do not match the names or the, the numbers in our playbook. Don't match the numbers in your back, so uh, we're going to give you some heck, and you're going to have to fix that for the next time you're on Ulti TV. But, but look at some of these names. What, how do you say this one, Meisel? Skowronek. Skowronek. Oh, you do much better than I do. Uh, what about this one? Dobranowski. Oh, uh, yeah, Austrian. You're right next to them. You're not mm. right next to them. Almost next to them. You're closer to that eastern side, but uh, you're nailing these names. Skowronek. Kronik. I'm growling that one out. I don't got it. <laughs> uh, how long was the, how'd you get here? Did you take a plane or did you drive to I Madrid? took a plane Bus? from Brussels. It oh was yeah, the first in flight Vienna. that I took in a very long time and it felt very strange. Uh, why? Because everybody was masked and lots of questions and extra line. Another great poll by Is No Good. Oh, oh layout what a for the, the first throw in Callahan country. Oh, Sebastian Page had a chance at that, but uh, Uprising making completions, but they are in tight spaces in their end zone. High pressure by the French, and now the Polish get out on the front foot here. Chance to continue. Defense resets. Defense into match. And the Poles... Rising up, send one to end zone. Prion Martin was just close enough, put the pressure on, and the Polish receiver could not hang on. Is a there foul is a called? A foul, no contest. So what is that going to be? Yep, front of the goal line. Would have been a different way of checking it in, though, probably. Goal line. Goes all the way around, over, not in, but the next throw. I, was, I thought it was wide, wide open, but the defender kind of made their way back, but that one counts, and it's 2-5 in favor of Isno Good. Uh, so uh, your weird flight, one of your first flights in, in a little while, just weird, just doing it again, being yeah. normal life again. Yeah, and also I don't want flights to be my normal life anymore, so that also felt weird. You want to fly less? Yes. Okay, <laughs> good. Carbon footprint. That's your reasoning, I imagine? Yes, it is. 
uh, a camera that's very noble of you. I would love to uh, even attempt that, but it is uh, it's t it, as a as a traveling man, it's tough to even imagine how you cross these oceans without uh, flying planes. But I guess if you pick and choose your times, you can find alternative ways. And here we see again the heroic grab by the uprising uh, receiver. Yeah, it was there's GBA uh, jumped into the lane there, and he stopped one of the receivers, but uh, wisely the second uh, receiver followed all the way to the line, and uh, Gignac, GBA couldn't go the whole way with him. And you've been to Madrid before? No, it's my first time in Spain, ever. Ah, and first impressions? Uh, so wait a minute, is this a normal ultimate trip for you? You're only going to know Madrid based on the hotel and the fields? Probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got I got a bonus day yesterday, or else it would be one another one of those weekends. Oh, yeah, I've been to Madrid. I saw the hotel and the fields. Oh, yeah, I've been to Paris. I've seen blah, blah, blah. It's many cases of that in the ultimate world. Yes, indeed. I've seen Amsterdam this way like four times. <laughs> yes, wait, wait, you don't even see the hotel because... <laughs> We ke you camp at the fields for windmill. So, the capitaine, long-time player, 10 years on the squad, Francois Zubir, will walk the disc to the line. Normally a D-line player. They're a little bit mixed up. They're, they're not playing online D-line this week with the smaller roster. Uh, so you'll see a lot of line changes, different lines, nothing fixed. Uh, they're playing loose, and it seems to be working so far. Engages Simon. And they wanted the two-man game. Kevin U came into it and brought a defender. And now they start their own two-man game. Three handlers working well together. A bit of a dominator set. Bredard back to Zubier. And gets <laughs> Simon very easy. Now Becker goes hammer, Bredard is there, it's a, the throw was on. And Bredard very quick, left hand to, oh, Arthur Odumfong can't get there. Uh, just a bit too far out in front. Yeah, another chance for Uprising Nothing. to close it up a bit more. Uh, it, would, it would make this game interesting if they could uh, make Isno pay for their mistakes at least. Uh, early stages, they haven't been able to do that. They haven't been given many opportunities to break, so it's a rare opportunity for them. Let's see, uh, let's see if they can capitalize. Centering pass from their own end zone. Shot deep, 41 underneath it. Kudlinski, help is coming. Zubir was the original defender and got the hand on it. Becker came and cleaned up. Foul called on him. He's having to think about it, but I think he did foul. Yeah, it looked. It d there definitely was contact. Here's the other look. Here you can look at it. Oh, he did a really good job to keep his arm out in front and remove his body, but I don't think he did it perfectly. Like he yeah. did everything he could do. Uh, to not foul him, but he still touched him. Yeah, but we see the foul is uncontested. Now let's see where they will bring it in. If it's a f foul or a strip. I think it's going to be a foul. So yeah, it, it looks like a foul. Yeah. Goal line on the goal line. A short field for them. Let's see if they can cash it in. They got the benefit of the call. Now looking for the dump. Heavy, heavy mark. And after all that movement, finally some space on the right side there, and they walk one in. But it's not counted yet. There's a call. There's a pick. It well, there was a lot of traffic in the middle, so the, yeah. the pick doesn't seem unreasonable. But he's got his head. Are his hands up with the disc saying yes goal or yes pick? How bent were those shoulders and elbows? <laughs> I think they were not bent <laughs> enough for a pick. Yeah, I thought I thought the same. He was saying goal. And we see it again here. Oh, uh, to me, th I mean, th there was a pick there. Whether it was on the player, at the f it was on the player at the back. Did it affect the player at the front? Now I'd want to watch it again. 
The player at the back got, there was a pick. There was so much traffic. I yeah. didn't see where the player at the front who caught the goal came from. Here they go again. Second chance at it. And the and break yeah. gets out. Uh, step through that tight mark. And they cash one in. 3-5 and a break for Uprising there for his break of the game. Yeah, first time that they really could capitalize on the error that Isno made before. Uh, and so that's what they're going to need. Uh, Isno, of course, everything to uh, prevent that from happening. But if Uprising can wait and capitalize and just tighten up a little bit, they can make this an interesting game. They can, uh, I mean... As far as I'm concerned, they would be stealing it if they got this win. Uh, this is Isno's game to lose. They, they're they better on paper based on, you know, uh, history, European uh, European championship uh, finishes, uh, these kind of things. So it's there. Th and, of course, these are not EUCF teams, most of them that are here. Ranala was was is 13 players. They were fourth place in, in EUCF, but I don't think we're going to see the same... Yaka is not the same Yaka we saw in EUCF. There's a that lot is of true. A lot of similar players, but missing a lot of players, a yes. couple additional players. Uh, so it's still the club, it's still the representation, and a lot of the same names. So, you know, we, we take what we can from, from knowing the, the club cultures. Of course. But it's a, it's a fresh tournament. A lot to, uh, lot to play out. We're going to see how it goes over the course of this long weekend full moon tonight too a lot of energy in madrid anguin makes his coach proud and catches that pull in the back of the end zone jacob reigns wound up twice and then he put it and what a put to the big dutchman that was goal line to goal line jacob making it rain uh, and the team celebrated him forward with the airplane. What a big shot. That is what I call efficient offense. That is <laughs> very efficient. Nguyen cut the pull, threw it, one throw to Jacob Reigns, and that was it, or did we miss, was there a third let's, throw? Let's watch there it, it again. So we had the one, he already got a pass, and so that was the second pass, I guess. Yes, two pass offense. Uh... Zippity doo dah. He put a bit of mustard on that one and went tape to tape for the goal. So they got broken and then they, they well, they said we're gonna put our defense back out there really quickly and you can you're uh, you're just gonna have your chances holding. We're not even gonna come close to giving you a break opportunity. And so, how is life in Belgium? Well, it's also a, a, approaching lockdown again, I would say. Or not lockdown as, as such, but uh, home office oh no. for me again. So, oh no. it's going to get a bit more boring again. Okay, well, good thing it's cold and wintry. Easier to stay home during that, but ay 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 with these lockdowns. Anyhow, uprising. Trying to go from end to end here, working against a zone front out of the boys from Noisy Le Sec. Two passes at a time and direct intercept to Simon and Marcon. Marconi sends to Simon. Center, 10 meters out. Has a nice clean stack, gets a floaty throw to the break side, yeah. and Prior Martin is there to make it look very, very easy. Uh, another break for Isno. It's 7 3 now. They're running away with it, they're finding their separation. But we hear uprise, cheer, uprising, cheering, so they are still, they're still on it. They're still they mentally engaged. Yes. They have not given up hope. That much still exists. And we have seen that they can do it. There's the replay of the goal. Prior Martin, a great pickup for Is No Good. He was uh, represented Tsunami, great club that he takes pride in. He's done a great job coaching them. And uh, I know it was a very tough decision for him to come and play with Is No Good. And we're, we're very grateful to have him. He played with uh, Frizzlies Versailles in the last championnat as well. 
uh, and we, you know, he, he came to all our training matches and played against us, and every time he just impressed and impressed, and we're like, we got to get this guy. we got to get this guy. <laughs> and uh, so we're really happy to get him. All right. Yeah. Good he, move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and this year he's fully committed to Isno for the championnat season, for the WUCC season. We're, uh, so, it's been, yeah. It'll be so great. you got him. We got him. It'll be great. <laughs> It would be great to, you know, get him full time, because uh, he's a workhorse at training as well. Uh, it's a great guy to have on the squad. And we see Uprising discussing about what they are going to do next. What do you think they are talking about? What do they have to do better? Well, they got to do a little bit of everything better. I mean, the defense—they tried the zone and it didn't slow them down. I, I think uh, they got to go match. They got to start questioning each other's. Uh, Ability to hold their matchups, trust each other. You do your job, I do mine. But they got to play match, and tactically, like yeah, they probably want to take away. Like I, I would probably be trying to take away the deeps first, and then as the field shrinks, then start taking away the unders. But uh, Isno got away with a couple D's behind him now, a couple of quick offenses, and they want to make sure that that they stay, their defense can stay on the field longer. So, yeah. So maybe yeah, scrap the zone, play match deep. And then, and then if you get, if they, you know, you give up the unders, they march up the field, then try and get a goal line uh, turnover, which they did do once in the early stages of the yeah, game. Yeah, they did. Gignac, as he's called, named after a French footballer. But Vincent Gibier sends the pull. I like it. It's got some shape, but two meters short of the end zone. Uprising. Moving through a junk D. They get some meters. Back to 88 in the center. Winds up, does not give it. Pop pass for the dump. Fakes the upfield. A lot of swipes, not a lot of room. Now they get some upfield gainers. Mikolyek. Gets a couple touches through the middle there. 91. And to his feet, number 38, Mashevsky. Set fires for goal. They get back in. They get their hold. Those are very, very important for them. Uh, and it's 4 7. So uh, they, they get one in. But I was talking about what they had to do defensively. Of course, they came out on, on O. And, That's true. And uh, what did they do there? They, they threw a half dozen, a dozen passes, probably nice and easy. They played against a zone. And then they had a big gainer through the middle, which opened up the field, which was before this. And then. And a nice throw to finish, really big yeah. uh, leaning, leaning break throw, backhand break, uh, made it look pretty. So four seven. Now they can maybe try the defensive advice. That was Pavel Sved, who threw the assist or caught the ball. Uh, I was just checking because I think the the roster might be updated. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. So now we can actually say the right names Man. for the right numbers. We could be. Look at this technology. I just had to press one button. And it refreshed. And refreshed. Oh, my God. I wish we could do that with our bodies. In that would be nice. Refresh. I'd still be playing if that was the case. Jacob reigns and is no good. We do get another zone look out of Uprising. Uh, Nguyen and Becker. Uh, Becker goes zap the other way, finds Page. Page, yeah. Offer gets the dump from Odomfong. Udomfong to center and Marcon, his feet were in. They get the goal. And, okay, they didn't make short work of it, but the Becker hammer after that, the, the zone was compromised. That is true. I, I still, I think, I prefer uh, if <laughs> that they play man. I think it's better for Uprising. They get, not man, sorry, match. 
uh, match defense, I think uh, they got more chances of slowing down Isna. I think they're maybe possibly reacting to the fact that Isna is showing us a zone and we're having a tough time with it. So maybe they'll have a tough time with it too. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> But they don't. No, it's not. And they have I think it's like three times now they've they've played the zone and been ineffective. Get rid of the zone uprising. So halftime here. Uh, the teams are gonna take a short break. We'll take a very short break too. We'll be right back for second half action as uh, this halftime keeps getting underway. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, As you just heard the advertisement there, Lorkin talking, what a beautiful voice he has, uh, but spread the love. Uh, these streams are coming to you free. We want them to be free for everyone to be shared uh, so anybody can watch this wonderful sport of ours played at the elite level. But also, if you love them, if you like them, and you have time to support and be in engaged and involved in the community, you can support and become a subscriber. Remember, you can do it one month at a time for as little as three euros uh, and, and give to such a great cause uh, and make something grow and uh, get in, get out at any time. So always our reminders to do that as we get back into this second half action here in Madrid. Again, I'm Stefan, and I'm so Stefan Rapazzo. So happy to be joined with Kathy Meisel, the missile. I remember the first time I saw uh, Kathy playing was in Rokla when you were with your old uh, club team, Mantis. And uh, you had a zipper of a game. You had a great game because I named you My Missile. You, you are named Meisel. But uh, a great range of throws out of Kathy Meisel. And she brought them to Yaka this year and uh, was very fortunate enough to get to win a, a championship. Uh, this was a very nice side effect <laughs> of yeah. joining the team. <laughs> a nice side effect of winning. How was that championship celebration? We'll talk about that when we get another break because I mean, two seconds is probably not, that, uh, not enough time to, to give us a taste of what that felt like. So for now, back into the offense. Second half action. Zubir Simon behind the disc. Zubir to Tessier, who was gone for a season, back to play the Masters season with Isno. Zubir gets a gainer to, ooh, his player came off. There was a poach there and found the poached man. Uh, Van de Voort floats one up, probably too much. Let's see how the read is. Defense had the step inside and knock away. Gibier calls the foul. There was some contact, but I think he also had position. But contact is contact. Contact is contact. The captain has stepped in. And here's another look at it. No, I, th I think he would want to retract that if he saw it. The contact was minimal, minimal. Uh, I agree, yeah. 
They're still talking about it. it there's the tough calls, though. When you like, how close do you read the rule? Uh, because by the rule, if there's any little bit of contact, it's a foul. But that was very minimal. I'm happy to see it going back. I think that's the the right play. Uh, so that no, that means it's contested. A foul contest. Yes. Okay. Uh, I could have been retracted then too. I think. But again, the players on the field they feel the contact. Uh, and when you feel it, uh, you have a better perspective than me and my microphone. Let's see if Uprising still tries to keep their zone or if they're going to switch immediately to match. Probably a good moment to switch to match. They have that going for them. It looks like they have. Yeah. Jibye had two or three, but too many players and not enough space. But Van de Voorde. Gets it to Francois. Nice little uh, midfield layout to keep that one alive. And Francois Zubir is on his bike. He's moving and running, gunning. Uh, but the whole team getting involved. Kevin U gets GBA and he flubs it off both hands and to the turf. And now the huck the other way. Defense not going to get there. Beautiful huck for score by Uprising. And a heavy spike, they're stoked. <laughs> well, yes, 8-5, looking good. So long point for Isno there, GBA uh, with the air, had two hands on it, come and hop, but put it to turf. And uh, two throws later, they were made to pay for it with a nice uprising huck. Yes. I feel like the wind is picking up as well. It's gusty all day so far. It's kind of like I've said I said that twice. I think I was like, oh, the wind's picking up. Oh, it's coming, and then it stops again. But but you're right. Maybe this time it will never stop. But the it's been gusty. It's been coming and going, and and at this very moment, it's uh, it's coming into the face of the camera. It's coming from sideline, far sideline, to near sideline. a little bit brisk too I think uh, a month ago on the calendar I saw Madrid in November going said that it'll be great it'll be warm and we've had moments of warmness today but it's it's pretty cold November in in Madrid here comes is no good Rico Becker Sebastian Page gives back to Becker wound up the backhand and then goes to Reigns Reigns to Nguyen. Back to Reigns, Levesque. Levesque wants the around. He gets Nguyen on the up line. Engaging, gets Becker. All sorts of room. One, two, a little bit of contact. But Nguyen likes it, celebrates. I work out in the gym. That contact didn't hurt me. Score check. Nine, Nine five. five. Like Dolly Parton, working nine to five, what a way to make a living, working. Okay, I'll finish my singing. <laughs> it's I'll okay. Cut, I'll cut it short. But that was a very quick f feeling offensive point from Isno. They had quick passes going all the way up there and then punching it in for the last pass. Isno good. A funny name, Isno good. I like to say is so good. But uh, it comes, I, when I first saw Is No Good, I was in uh, EUCR South uh, in Bologna, and they arrived, and I was commentating, and I was like, Is No Good, that's weird, uh, whatever, and didn't think anything of it, and, but I thought, like, I was like, maybe it's just a French thing, like, is, this is no good, and <laughs> it came uh, from this. <laughs> but it's not at all uh, from that. There is a famed comic book about... Yes. He's no good. Uh, and he's, I don't know, always trying to take the place of some sultan or something. He wants to be the sultan in place of the sultan. Okay. Yes. You know of Yes, I, I do know it. How do you know French comic books, Meisel? Translated to German. Ah. Yeah. Shot deep. Ellie Poussou there. Just enough to turn the shoulders and get the left hand inside. The Toulousain pickup. 
the throw was a bit deep, so and well read by the defense. Break opportunity for is no good. Francois turned his defender, but the throw was too far in front, and it uprise and get it straight back. And I said too far in front, too far behind. The throw not far in fr front enough, and the defender got a hand to it. 88 with the disc for Uprising. Stall count mounted, but got it off. And they're connecting passes here. That one for goal is gonna count. They're gonna celebrate. Uprising are liking that one. Still down a handful. But 9-6 not going away anywhere quite yet. They get their they get their hold after giving a break opportunity. Yeah, we saw number 88, uh, Bartek Dvoryecki. Sorry for butchering the name in case. To Norbert Staniszewski. Oh, you're doing a wonderful job with those names. There's no butchery here. Uh, I'm, I'm happier that you're taking care of that, of course. But... I'll always have a stab at them. I want to learn and get these pronunciations right, but uh, it's the fun part of the job. So 9-6, a three-goal lead for Is No Good. Second half action, games to 15. One timeout per team per half. Uh, 75 seconds between pulls. That's a little bit quicker than uh, EU WFDF regulations uh, but uh, I don't think many people are adhering strictly to that one yet. I don't know if anyone's counting yes there's no whistles exactly so if there's no whistles it's no no whistles no worries do you think they're gonna set the zone again mm, I well the wind is back Meisel so maybe, but I don't think it's a good idea. I th no, they are... Uh, are they match? They are. Yeah, they are match. Becker takes the under. Up line to Reigns. He's got that shot available, and he takes it. Levesque goes one hand and can't handle it. And now uprising with a break opportunity. We have Maciejewski picking it up. Maciejewski goes all the way around and he catches the trailing end. Philip holding on to that one. Gets it again, does Philippe. Shot for end zone, inside out, other way, corner to corner, but didn't have enough inside to balance out the out. And Isno will get a second chance to hold. I did like the look, though, that he had there yep. to the other corner of the end zone. I like, uh, yeah, and I, uh, no hesitation. He saw it right away, knew what he wanted right away. And the throw was the right choice, just needed f more float. Rico's gone deep. Seb Paz has worked for them twice. He will work for them thrice. Three deep in the end zone. Becker to Page for the goal. That makes it 10-6 and Isno maintaining control despite not being able to run away completely. So, tell us about this Yaka celebration feeling. How was it to run through a European Championship tournament and come out crowned victorious uh, with Yaka in, in the months that recently passed Meisel? It was pretty insane. Yes, tell I us. I mean, I joined the team because I had high ambitions. Um, so I was not surprised, but I was still a bit pleasantly surprised because I didn't want to, to put my expectations up too high. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I personally did it didn't have too many expectations and then when we sort of rolled through the the pool phase I thought okay this might actually we go pretty well <laughs> we get a chance at this one um yeah 
and then and then we did it. It was amazing. I was I was super nervous in the final. Yeah. It got to me. I saw your first throw. We won't talk about that one, but you recovered and it had a was, wonderful game. It uh, was mediocre. Let's yes, say that. Yes, but those are the ones you remember that that helped teach you the best lessons. Yeah. And Isno with a quick chance to break here, Van de Vood to Simon in the tight corner. Uh, that happened very very quickly, and it's. All of a sudden, 11-6, but it's coming back. So back to 10-6. Not sure the call. Probably a pick. There was a bit of traffic. Probably. It looks like it looks like traffic. And bradard has gone up line <laughs> and off the hands. I think uh, he turned away because he thought the throw was going back away. Uh, Vandevoort switched hands and forced out the lefty backhand, and Bredard thought he was pivoting away. Either way, that one's got to be caught. They're going to have to earn their opportunity back. And Fred Bredal does that so often. Uh, Takes that time, it right back. Yeah, he gets it right back. He didn't lay out that time, but he is great at reaching over people's shoulders as a defender. When he does it with a layout, he's a huge body, and it's quite scary and intimidating. I can imagine. He also has very long arms. Yeah, uh, great defensive player, and that time he made up for his own mistake. Uh, okay, I dropped that one. I will take responsibility and get it back for us. There's the D, and very, very quick, they capitalized. So who's your next game against then, uh, Meisel, this tournament? Oh, if only I knew. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you guys don't have a pool. In the women's bracket, of course, we have eight teams, and everybody plays everybody. <laughs> we so will have more games than at UCF. <laughs> so you'll play seven games, and then a placing game. So... Yes, indeed. If you finish in one and two, your placing game is the championship. Exactly. Uh, which I would imagine is part of the Yaka expectations for this tournament after being European champs. Uh, surely you want to come here and defend that. Yes, That's I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so, Basel. I hope so. I, I hope so, too, of course. Of course, of course. Doing it for Noisy Le Sec. As Noisy Le Sec are getting it done here. Uh, and the pull, it's been a decent pulling game for Noisy Le Sec, but that one goes away. And I'm going to be forced to watch a brick start. I didn't see who pulled that one, but I'll shame them when I find out. Uh, for now, uprising from their brick mark. Uh, we know the coach. They've got a great coach, a very handsome coach, this Noisy Le Sec team. And uprising, up and around, great pass there by Vepak. Gone deep, defense got turned around and it works for uprising. They cash one in and that's their first quick, efficient offensive point. They, they really had a thro two throws, sideline to sideline, got away with a huck and Isno are now gonna have to say, okay, what are we doing here? Well, they're, they just made it look easy against us now. We got the lead, but uh, this one's not over. Uh, what are we going to do to repair this? So we will see the hack again. All the way to the other side of the field. And you see Sebastian Paz uh, got turned around. He checked right shoulder, then left shoulder. And he was uh, by the time he was looking back to the right shoulder again, uh, it was in the receiver's hands. It's a tough feeling when you when you choose the wrong shoulder first on, on reading your discs, but... Uh, it's also just like, uh, it's a tough one to train how to read discs, right? I mean, it's you just have to huck a lot, a lot, whether it's drill hucking or stationary hucking, but like reading those discs and always knowing where did it come from, what was the angle of release, and uh, and where's that gonna go? And because uh, some people do read and pick up on reads better and quicker than others, but, but to train it, it's, uh, it's a difficult one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a hard skill to train. And then also you have to account for the wind that's also sometimes happening. And as we said before, that it's picking up, it's sort of almost gone again. Uh, yeah, that it's back to calm, calm weather. So a wonderful organizing effort so far by the tournament. We'll give them shouts out. 
Uh, we'll see how the tournament goes. It's early days, but uh, they had uh, done this all through COVID uh, where they put this on the calendar more than eight or nine months ago and had their fingers crossed and hoped through all sorts of uh, restrictions in life and border crossing. And uh, they stuck to it and uh, they maintained. And we've got everybody here. All the teams are here. The Austrian team almost forfeited. But they sent a half a team and got a couple pickups. So yeah, they sent seven players, got three pickups, so they're the ten of them now. Yeah, the, so forward is representing. That's uh, great to hear. Uh, plunking a team out of the schedule this late, uh, it's it it hurts. So it's great, a uh, great effort for them to show up despite their difficulties. So Simon. Taking on the handling role, doing a great job of it with Zubir, who always does it. Udonfong, the youngin, Arturo, had a exceptional EUCF, but throws that one up line to Pusus, and a great defensive play made in front of Pusus. Uh, and he gets it right back, Udonfong, gives it away, leaves his feet, gets it back. That's what I like. The urgency that uh, that people play with when they're responsible for the turnover is exceptional. It, it's always that way. When you made the turnover, your the Ds that come out of that particular player are always more desperate. Uh, yes. Simon to Zubir, now to U. Great continuation, but Van de Vood takes his eye off the prize for a second, and that one goes to out of bounds. An uprising with another opportunity. Mashevsky with the disc. The deep is gone. It's up. Vandervoort coming for help. It's going to go out of bounds, though, and nobody's going to have a chance at that one. Uh, but. I don't think it went out of bounds too early. Probably coming in on the cone is my imag is what I imagine there. Nah, I think it was much earlier. There is some uh, discussion about where it went out of bounds. It changed its flight once or twice. So the man who thro threw it, Mashevsky, is happy to say it went out about 10 meters before the goal line. So that's very advantageous for Is No Good. So Francois Zubir walking the disc to the line. He's confident, has a point to his coach, says he's got this. 10 meters out, 15 maybe on the sideline, gets the upline cut from Simon, not quite in. Still on the sideline, then Poussou yes. through traffic. They cash it in. It was 7-11, we missed our time for a Slurpee and it's up to 12-11, is no good. Uh, inching ever closer to that finish line. And I can't believe Is No Good the comic was translated into German. How many other languages do you suspect it would have been translated into? Probably a lot. Do you think it would be translated in English? Sure. <sighs> I should read it one day. Is No Good. So what's the story with him? He always wants to be... He's. I think he's like the the highest servant of the sultan okay. and he just always tries to sabotage or kill him in order to become the sultan but it never works okay uh so in theory not a great mascot no uh but they've embraced him and i think they they take on his uh his will and his determination and so if you just take on that those aspects then you can find the good in it here come uprising Gets the gainer, Mikolyek. Goes around, Vipak. Up line, Jacob gets the D, almost into the hands of the uprising uh, receiver, but he would have been out of bounds anyways. Reigns up line to Becker. Becker to Gibier. That's a nice, quick, easy goal. Uh, the break, the celebration, and Isno 
uh, now are are pushing away. They're getting closer to that goal line. It's a six goal differential, and the two in a row there uh, really hurts. Yeah, Uprising. you could see in in Uprising's offense that they just really had a hard time in getting open. So, and they didn't have a dump anymore. And then we had the defense. And then they paid. Paid for their spacing problems. There's the nice goal. Little bit of an air bounce on that backhand. Nice low release. Uh, we're seeing that. I, I'm quite impressed with uh, the American fella playing with is no good today. Jacob Reigns, he set up that throw. He got the D and then set up the throw to Becker. Uh, he's showing a great range of throws. A lot of his uh, low releases look very, very crisp. He gets uh, he gets down in a low position quickly, and uh, <laughs> and he gets those throws out seamlessly. I thought, did somebody just slip on a banana? Are we having acting classes in front of us? We have acting classes in front okay, of us. Okay, okay. Super Mario style banana on the track. So Johan. The big Dutchman Va Van der Wood. Van der Van der Wouden. Van der Wouden. <laughs> Gets things going. Uprising. Coming the other way. They need one last breath here. Can they put something together? Gilva. Gets it centered. Great what a grab. pressure by Simon. Wonderful grab. Another floaty one, but complete to Badura. Now the under, ooh, <laughs> forced to go to ground there is... Borjecki Bo held on to it. Does a great job at that. And a good look at possession here for Mikolyak and Uprising. He's gone the other way, a beautiful visionary pass if it stays in. He needed just 5% off of that. But he had it on there, and maybe the wind is picking up again. It is true. It is true. Two minutes ago, that throw might have come off. But that wind blowing back to us put just a bit more on that uh, that inside out flick. Uh, when it came back, it was coming back faster and uh, yeah, went into the, the soccer goal there. The football goal. JB Simon. Oh, it gets a miscommunication, throws behind Udumfong. Another chance for uprising. Short field here. And we have Lepak picking it up, who just had the throw into the end zone. Trying to get there, end zone, oh. A little bit disorganized, but on the second throw, they are there and they do get in. And Novak put it into the end zone too. I didn't see the number. Philippe, but I believe. It was seven or one. Philippe or Mikolyek. But maybe I'm totally wrong. Let's see on this replay. Totally wrong. There's two totally numbers wrong. there. It's not but it was Kipki. Kipki. Cashing in for Uprising. Extending this game. Not letting Isno get to 14 just that easy. Uh, they had a major miscommunication on the very first throw and Uprising made him pay. Simon to Udumfong didn't come off and they'll be talking about that one on the sideline, how to make it better next time. Here comes the pull, and it goes straight out of bounds. Nguyen happy to clap his hands over his head and summon for the brick. And with no brick indicator, he's going to go r right back to the end zone line and step these ones out. Disc is in, Nguyen sent it deep right away. It's floating 
more than he wanted and Prior Martin couldn't outread the double defenders for Uprising and now they're looking for a big break here. They would get a major energy boost if they could put this one in. And he's gone deep straight away. Other end, there he's out in front. Bredard couldn't make a bid, but it was just too far out in front. Off the hands, uh, that would have been a huge play if yeah. that one was hung on to. Those are the opportunities where superstars can be born, but not on that occasion. There you see the Nguyen Huck. Not where he wanted that to be. It should have been further right. And, and with a then Maciejewski oh, came down with it and ripped it immediately. Ripped it. Should have counted. Jacob Reigns. Renaud Levesque. Fred Def. Bredard goes to Reigns, but too far in front. Probably should have laid out. He knows it. He thought he had it still on his feet. I think he was thinking about the next throw already. There it is going to turf. And here comes Mashevsky and the uprising crew. Get the under. The big is there. They've gone big. Two is no defenders. One uprise. The trailer Ooh. almost got there, but not quick enough. Is there a discussion about the level of contact? There probably is. Did you have an initial impression? Impression. Here's the replay, so we'll get a secondary impression. See the rip by Philip. Nah. Gignac went up early. Is Gignac involved in the conversation again? He went up early, but he had a read on the disc. But when he was coming down, you see the contact. But is he not allowed to go up for that disc when he had the read? At? Eh, that's. I would like a, I would la love to see it one more time if that's possible. Here it is again. I do think that it was a. It was not the cleanest defensive bid, but I think he had the better read, and I don't think that from the timing of the jump the uprising receiver would have a chance on it yeah. but of course it's uh, that one is very contestable like uh, i mean there was contact uh the uprising the uprising guy was like positionally it was never going to get there even if the, the guys didn't go up it was over his head he would have to back up to, uh, to make a leap for that tough one tough tough call to make out there so send it back never a horrible option oh floaty floaty reigns can't get there held Up. on to by smura and a pick called great play by smura with that pressure First throw completion, working towards midfield. There's the up line. Reigns, you could see him thinking about launching himself, but it wasn't there. And uprising into attacking territory here. Sideline to sideline, outside in. Big Fred Bredard was coming, and I knew that was a bad idea. When I saw Bredard moving with that much steam, uh, you could tell he was going to get that D. And this goes back to the start of the game uh, decisions. They're they're getting excited. They have they're getting the goal line looks. They're they're in close and and that sideline to sideline uh, with a bit of float on it. I don't know if that's their option there. It wasn't. He wasn't that open. Recenter. Set it up again. Take your time. That's it. And we get a new send immediately. And Reigns goes to Gibier. He got his hands on it. Should have had it. Awkward angle, but definitely a disc that he wants to catch uh, the other nine times out of ten. And so we've got a long point, multi-turn point here. These ones count for more. Not officially, but momentum-wise, they seem to. 
We can also hear Isno mobilizing their sideline to help them in defense. As Uprising is picking it up again. Mashevsky anchoring the attack for the Poles. Continued on and a stone cold drop by Zygmunt and then gets it straight back. I didn't even see what happened there. Uh, I think it was a hand block by the person who just dropped before. So oh, uh, Zygmunt getting it back. Wonderful work by the Poles not letting this multi-turn point get away from them that easy. But this one's going to give it right back again. Or not? Where did he jump from? That is the question. I believe what Isno is saying is he jumped from out of bounds and caught it back in bounds. But his last point of contact, we're going to get another look at this. If he jumped from out and landed in, it's out. Here's a good look. So we're not now. Well, we don't see his toes in that shot, unfortunately. But probably... We don't... Could have been out, but we don't know. From the... One more time. Here's another look from the other angle. Maybe we'll have a better look here. So now he's out. Both feet are out. Both feet are out. Both feet are out. Yeah. He's out. That the right call was made. But still, kudos for to him for this catch. Yep. Bredard to Nguyen Tessier. Three centers, Nguyen. Jacob Reigns. Levesque, center field. Nguyen, great movement by the boys from Noisy de Sec right now. Jacob Reigns, very calm. Lots of space in this end zone set. Up and over, high release, and Gibier takes care of that one. 14-8, their one away are is no good. Just put the high release on the wind there and let it fly into the zone. That's what we like. Love high release, love the hammers. Throw us your junk when you're under the cameras. <laughs> you don't mind throwing a bit of junk yourself there, Meisel. No, I don't. Wait, what, what's, do you have a preferred throw? It's tough. It's a tough question because it's easy to like so many. But do you have a, or do you have a throw that that you throw the most? You find. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, it's a tough. Maybe we'd have to ask someone else <laughs> what's the throw I throw the most. Mm. But I do like a good old backhand hug. Backhand hug. Flat, inside out, outside in, all three. All three. Okay. You'd like to get a little bit of time for that pivot wind up and uh, and send one deep. Yeah, I, I, it is I just fun. I always loved a backhand hook, of course, but I my like hammer hucks were were if I could get away with the hammer, a, de a like a strong, heavy you know forty meters or more hammer that was that was what I liked to throw the most when I in my in my uh, the best of my playing days. So fun! I love the the flight path on a hammer like the half helix here come uprising can they extend the game and hold one here or will isno get the break and put it away only time will tell and how much is to be determined they get it across mikolyek gets it around again badura into the back Vipak been getting a lot of touches here for the Poles. Gets the up line, good quick release throw to jump off of that pivot foot and then throw Sorry. it a goal and he does pick it up off the ground. Yes, they concede that. It was very, very close. Uh, but Isno now will get a chance to end the game while receiving. Yeah, that was Dvoretsky throwing into the end zone. Solid one, a solid one. Nice point there to extend the game. Uh, did what they had to do. It, w it wasn't pretty, pretty. It, uh, but it worked. We'll, s we'll see it again. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely not on the ground. That was, uh, there was still six inches. Uh, what's six inches in the metric? Like four 12 centimeters. It's not quite double. 12 inches is 30 centimeters. So six is 15 centimeters. There we are. Nice calculations. <laughs> Uh, 
So, potentially one point to play. Potentially more. Uh, it's all up to Uprising how much we will go. How far this could go on for. But our next game, no matter what, we're still getting ready for that, is going to be Munich. MUC versus Immortales, again in the men's division. Immortales, the host team, but they're a Venezuelan team. Uh, but there's a lot of them living in Madrid and a ah. lot of them that have come over as well. So it's kind of uh, a funny funny way of doing it. But the Immortales versus Mook, so stay tuned for more action. But for now, he's no good with a chance to put this one away. Nguyen to Van der Voort. Van der Voort goes deep. Pusus is there. GPA is there, but the end zone line trips up both players. That is nothing they can do there. Uh, a technical error, and they're going to have to cut. That's cost them a turnover. That kind of sucks, but uh, c'est la vie with the field. Uh, there's nothing you can do. We're going to have to get chalk painted on for next time. So, a bizarre uh, opportunity, but opportunity none nonetheless, and Poles uprising coming the other way. With a head full of steam, they've shot deep for end zone. E defense steps in front, well does Tessier and gets a hand to that, and they'll get another shot at it after the goal line caused the last defense. So Jacob Reigns looking at a horizontal set. Prior Martin went deep right away, but the throw goes to Gibier. Gets to Prior Martin, who came back under, and then goes deep. Not everything on that one, though. You saw it wobble out of his hand and couldn't go to Van der Vaud, which I hope I'm getting better at saying that Dutch name as the game goes on, but I could be getting worse. Almost better. Almost better. Oh, I don't know where that is, <laughs> Meisel. Well, I have the feeling that Isno just wants to punch it in a bit too much. Yeah, they want to finish this game, uh, and not the way they've been playing this game. They played a, they've played a great game, and uh, now on this point, and the one before as well, they're they're getting a little too trigger happy now, and let's just put them away. But put them away the same way you got there, uh, by taking what's available, not forcing the deeps. Number 12 for Uprising, Bison. Uh, and some flying bodies there, but Tessier gets his hand to it, and that's a D. He picks it up straight away. Van de Vauden gets a look. Nguyen goes one way or the other. Pusus gets his foot down as a little ankle wobble in the, but doing the ballet move, but puts it in. Is no good. Take the game. 15-9 in the end. Meisel, what do you think of that one? I think Isno had a very very good performance there. Made it clear in the beginning, I think, that they were on top of this. Had a little a little more errors than that Uprising come back a bit. We saw some nice action from Uprising as well. But yeah, solid win from Isno Good, I would say. Solid win all in all. I like that assessment very much. Uh, we're going to let Kathy Meisel get back to her team. We're going to let you at home have a very quick break while you contemplate and probably go ahead with your subscription to Alti TV. Uh, otherwise, don't go too far. MOOC MUC from Munich versus Immortales coming up next. Thank you for joining us. I've been Stefan Rapazzo, again joined with Kathy Meisel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.
Safety.tv.